morning, still not feeling great, hair everywhere. <coughs> this chest infection, I've got a really bad headache and I feel a bit hot. I have prepared some breakfast, but just a quick one. So I'll show you what we're about to nosh down on. A very basic meal today. I have got chia seeds, pudding, banana, a little bit of coconut milk. Lord of the fair. Mm, grudgy. Lay. Mm, until I'm brown. I'm really hot, like here. I feel it radiating off me. I've got a headache here. I'm coughing. It's lunchtime. <coughs> I've still got a cough. It doesn't hurt so much all the way down here, it's just a bit here. It doesn't hurt, it's just kind of like, ugh. Makes me feel a bit weird. <coughs> still got the cough. Um, had a really big headache, just taking some Nurofen. I'm having exactly the same meal for lunch as I did last night. So I've got my, let me whiz you over. I've got my soup homemade spicy carrot soup and i have got a little bit of avocado toast so after this i'm going to have a shower see if that makes me feel any better maybe get into some soft loungewear um with the work laptop and see how i get on mm. i've got a couple of zoom meetings this afternoon but not till three so it's enough time to recharge Mm. I mean, even the day, a day later, that's still lovely. You can't beat anything with cabbage in it. I think cabbage is my favourite veg. I've to pick one. The carrot is good. But I think cabbage is just more versatile. You can use it as wraps. You can use it as onion. Well, I do. One vegetable I've been thinking a lot about recently. Sweet corn. I love it. I don't have any. This is nice. It's my last piece of bread that I took out from the freezer ages ago. If I want bread now, I'm going to have to make it. Well, I think I've got some rye bread. Really thin, like German rye bread in the freezer. That'll be my lot. Then I'm back to making it. But I love making my own bread when I've got time. It's so lush. Do you make your own bread? Some people have bread makers, don't they? But I just do it manually. Mm. This is making me feel better. Avocado taste. A middle class staple. I watched a documentary once about how avocados are grown i think it was in peru somewhere in south america and the avocado factories or farms were nicking all the water from all the other crops and the villages they didn't have any water whatsoever just to grow these avocados for western people well i think technically south america is western you know what i mean really hard isn't it to be like completely sustainable unless you're living off grid you're doing homestead and then you've got to balance it with work like it'd be great to do that but then how i need to follow some homestead channels get some inspo maybe i could do like urban homestead in my terrace house in my garden in norwich mm. this is lovely i've had a shower Oh, I do feel refreshed, I must say. That does feel nice. Just wandering into the kitchen now because I'm needing like a ginger and lemon tea. I'm going to whiz something up. Look at the state of my kitchen. I'm ashamed. Absolute filth. Here I am. So I've got myself some stuff out of the cupboard. Ginger. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Turmeric, a 
half a lemon I'm going to cut up. I've got some sugar. That's going to go into a tea. I've also got some things out to roast in the oven for a bit of prep for later. So I'm going to roast... I've got seven. I'm going to keep three and roast four. And then I've got this tofu. It's going to get roasted. And so if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that my mum sadly passed away about three four months ago now and she wasn't even ill she got ill and died within a week and she was 78 years old and she'd been complaining in the night of severe back pain which turned out to be kidney failure then she got sepsis and there was a load of other stuff that went wrong so i'm quite keen to look after myself if i can and my kidneys because I don't want to go the same way as mum. Although I do feel in some ways it's better than her having a long, prolonged illness or and or potentially going into a home at some point. She used to always fear about going into a home. And we'd say, we'd never let you go to a home, mum. It's absolutely fine. But it is strange without her. Life is strange without her. And grief is strange. So I don't sit around all day crying, wearing black. That's not the way that... I grieve or operate but obviously I do have moments where I think about her or I look through her photos on my phone or something good happens something bad happens in my life and I will think oh I must tell mum but I can't because she's brown bread unfortunately and I'm not particularly religious in any way but I do have moments where I'm like, Mum, are you there? Mummy, Sheila, show me your sign. And she never does. So, I don't know. I feel like the mum who I knew and loved, she's gone somewhere. Her spirit has gone somewhere. But I don't know where. But it's not here anymore. She on to bigger, better things, maybe. Some exciting things. Who knows? But her body is very much cremated. And part of it is in my lounge and in a wild poppy plant that I've got outside but yeah I, I I'm lucky because I've got two older sisters stepsisters who are basically like my sisters and honestly I don't know what I'd do without them they are like having two extra mums so I'm very grateful for that but anyway without further ado let's get some things in the oven so I've just chopped up half of that because I want to use the other half in some kind of quiche and then cubed it. Because it's been frozen and then defrosted, it's a bit more spongy than normal tofu, which I think makes it nice to roast. Um, I'm going to try and keep the flavours quite light. I was thinking about putting some chicken seasoning on there so it's like mock chicken, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep it how it is and then add seasonings later. Tomatoes have been chopped up a bit, so they don't explode in the oven. Salted and a bit of olive oil, and they smell amazing. You know that amazing tomato, sort of earthy, lovely, juicy smell? I'm going to have to eat one of them. It's going to happen. Been absolutely craving tomatoes while I've been ill. Mm. Anyone knows what that means? I'm a crazy lady. Or do tomatoes have a certain vitamin that I might be missing out on. Mm. Mm. I'm just eating these little chunks of baked tofu as a snack for now. I've got a little bit of salt on, a little bit of lemon juice. And it's yummy but i now need to cook something solid because it's dinner time well that was nice i just had a coughing fit so bad i thought i was going to be sick and now i've got the hiccups it's fun isn't it so what's going on i've still got these beans to deal with they have been boiled now for hours and hours oh hours and hours told you how to hiccups half of them i'm just going to freeze and then half of them I'm going to take and use a quarter of them for soy milk and eat. 
oh, a quarter of them. That's the plan. In here, I should have some tomatoes. Yes. And in here, I've got my banana skin. Oh, in barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna rustle something up, but I do want to make some flatbreads. That needs to happen. So in this little mixing bowl, I've got some plain flour, some baking powder, some yeast, and a little bit of sugar, because apparently that activates the yeast. And I'm going to add warm water to it to make a dough. I've made a little dough ball. It feels quite dense for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'm gonna leave it to rise for a little while in there. There's some cling film over the top, and I have sectioned off a little piece of dough here, which I'm gonna add some olive oil to, and use it to prepare some pasta dough. So I'm thinking half of that could be like a vegan pizza, and then half of it, some spaghetti, or similar. As you can see, I've got some of my soybeans soaking in fresh water, while the Nutribullet thing blade is in the dishwasher. Now I'm thinking, got this leftover broccoli from the frozen little mixed bag of veg and I've got some of these beans and we've got this so I'm thinking we use half of that half of those beans and that smush it together to make some bean burgers so in here I've got some of the beans and my broccoli start getting ready to mash all that down I'm going to add some mashed potato in which is on the go here and then I have found some of this chicken seasoning that I had in the cupboard from last time. That's all going to go in there as well. Yummy. I've now added in the mashed potato and I'm about to build little patties out of these and fry them into burgers. Burgers are done. Now these soybeans weren't very smushable like the normal beans I use. They look a bit like peanuts in there, but they make do. Let me show you how the bread stroke dough is doing. So this is the little dough for the pasta because it's got the oil in, no egg, obs, vegan wheat. And then this was for the bread. As you can see there, I've ripped it in half. So I'm going to attempt to make two little burger buns out of this. Not sure how it's going to go, but they're gonna go in the oven. We're just going to take a peek at our old friend, the banana skin, which I've done in a homemade barbecue sauce. So in there should be some long stringy bits, which are supposed to be like bacon. I guess these. Mm, look at them. I'll try frying them up. And then at the bottom, there's some pulled pork style banana skin, which I'm thinking for the burger. Let's fry up the bacon though. I mean, yeah, bacon vibes. Apart from this massive yellow bit here. Interesting. Have you ever made these? I've just rolled out the rest of my bread and I'm going to make some flatbreads. So I'm just going to roll these out and put them in a pan and hope they form little wrappies. Oh my goodness, these flatbreads are so good. Mmm warm, pillowy, carby, cheap, wunderbar. Look at this vegan bacon made from banana skin. Absolutely amazing. Perhaps a bit too burnt. Mm. Four out of ten. These little bun guys have come out of the oven. I've not made these before. They could even be not cooked. Who knows? You're supposed to knock them. See if they feel hollow. Flatbreads are doing their thing. Look at that. Let's try and cut one of these open. These look absolutely lovely. Look at them. Mmm. Can't wait. To assemble this little burger. I've got a little nubby bit to eat as well. Nosh. Wow. Just reheating the pulled pork, aka banana skin. 
It's going to go on top of a burger in a bag with some salad. Burger, bun, some of that pulled pork, aka banana skin. Look at that, looking good. Haven't finished yet. A little bit of tomato, cucumber, red onion, bish bash bosh. My burger is served. Why not look up to the standards of MasterChef? I'm sure it will taste delicious because every single thing in there is homemade. Very excited about the homemade burger and it's adequately spicy, which I need for my illness. So I've made everything in here. I've made the bun, made the burger. I've made the pulled pork banana. Mm. Really good. That pulled pork, aka banana skin, incredible. I'm not so sure about the bacon. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. What a day. I cannot do any more cooking. I'm pooped out. I need to go to sleep. I'm still not 100%. This is not me for six, this bug, but we persevere with the vegan week, don't we? This is what we do. The bacon rashers that were bananas, absolute fail. I burnt them to a crisp and they were disgusting. So I may have another go at them another time. But the banana skin pulled pork, amazing. Absolutely 10 out of 10. And today's breads, the flatbreads and the little buns I made. Yeah, so proud of myself. I'm going to take some more medication and get myself up to bed. And I'll see you tomorrow. For more budget food eat fun.